Hello, everybody. This just in. Breaking news. Um, I went to the post office, and so we're going to do a little mail haul right here. First thing I want to show you is this cool little package. This is from Paperback Goldmine on Instagram. Um, they, I kept seeing stuff that they had up there and I was getting all annoyed because I never hit them up to see how much things were and all this other stuff. The actual website, this is really nice to send books in. Like a box? I didn't know about this. Yeah. This was me trying them out. And guess what? I can't get into said box. Hang on, hang on. Oh, look at this. I use these for getting out of my pants on a hot day. These are my pants getting outers. Scissors. All right. <clears throat> I think I hit all the points. So this, oh, looks good. Okay. Look at that. The August Durleth Trail of Cthulhu. Um, collection. Look at that cover. That's... That's... That's the design that's the of design. book that I was telling you that mine are. I love craft ones. Oh, the one with the frog looking dude yes. on it? Yeah, that's... Um, I think I will remember the name of that in some time. Okay, let's... Oh, let's take a look at this. Out of, oh my gosh. Out of the bag. I made a Whoa! Doesn't look like it's been opened. No, look at this! Look at that spine! I know you can't see it because of the glare. Look at that spine, folks. <sighs> this book has not been to the chiropractor. Its spine has not been cracked. Oh, hang on a minute. Is that a... What kind of book is that again? What's it about? Cthulhu. Oh, it's, yeah. Oh, look at this, guys. If you want your own Cthulhu cup cozy to wrap around your mug in the morning... Hang on, I'll wrap it around to show Okay, you. yeah, do that. Um, so this is from Grafton. The cover art is by Tim White. Um, oh my goodness gracious lord. This is what we call in Zabiz Prastine. Um, So, if you want to sit here and read Trail of Cthulhu while drinking out of your Cthulhu cup cozy, you need to just run your your stinking butt over to Zoe Wall Art <laughs> on Etsy. Shameless plug. Look how cute he is. It's super cute. <laughs> Look at it. A Cthulhu, but a cup cozy. Oh, I am so pleased. Okay, this book was only... Um, now, now listen to me before you freak out. This book was only $8. Oh, that's alright. That's going to be less than But check it out. They don't charge you for shipping. And it comes in a really nice box that costs them $3. So this really only costs $5. Um, and they have it all nice inside. This is brilliant. So, yes, I'm going to be doing 
more of the business with paperback gold mine on Insta. Where is it based? In the U.S., obviously. New Mexico. Oh, nice. <clears throat> oh my goodness. I'm not a huge fan of bags, but I think I need to start being a huge fan of bags. So. The special ones, at least. That is brilliant. I'm very happy about that. But this one was actually in my P.O. box, and the line to get that one from the post office lady was longer than 2020, okay? So, oh, actually, I have a bill in there. Um, okay, now this, this is a story that I'm gonna tell you guys. But first, I'm gonna show you. No, I'll tell the story. No, I'll show you. had to open it up and look. Oh! <gasps> wow! Look at how freaking pristine this 1965 Ace copy of The uh, King in Yellow is. Huh? Huh, babe? Yeah. Huh? Beautiful. Complete and unabridged. I was looking for copies for your birthday. Achieve notable heights of cosmic fear, says Mr. Lovecraft. This book has not been to the chiropractor either. Let's see. Oh, my gosh. I don't even want to open it. Oh, my God. You guys have no idea. Oh, look at that beautiful, gorgeous illustration that you won't be able to see because I won't open the book all the way. Uh, it looks like it's got all the stories in it. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, the illustrations. Yes, please. Yes, please. Okay. So, I don't even know where to start, folks. Okay. Stop being creepy for a start. I don't know if I can. <laughs> I am so effing happy with this. Okay, here's the deal. I was looking up how much the original black cloth bound hardcover 1895 edition of The King in Yellow would be. Um... On the off chance that nobody gave a shit about it. Shocker, it goes for quite a bit. Like in the, um, I think I actually saw one in the thousands. But, um, yeah. No, actually I saw a few in the thousands because that's where we come to this. So then I was thinking, okay, well, what good copies of The King in Yellow are there out there? And there are newer copies, and some of them don't have all the stories in it, um, because some people think not all the stories fit, um, and they're probably right, but who cares? Um, so I'm like, I don't want one of these new ones unless there's like some really cool annotated notes or um, like a wonderful introduction or something like there's got to be something for me to want to buy a new copy of this and I couldn't find anything so if you guys out there know of any awesome annotated king and yellow um, works please let me know um, so that was that then I'm like okay well let me see what is like a cool old paperback edition that I might be able to actually afford. So, I looked this up. Okay? This ace of the King in Yellow that is probably in better condition than any of them that I actually saw online. So this makes me not even want to touch this now. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, my greasy fingers are all over it. So this book 
unless I'm completely stupid and don't understand the inner workings of the internet, this book in this condition sells on different sites for in between six and seven hundred dollars. Okay. Now, this could be complete false information, and I miss the fact that it was actually signed by somebody, or somebody sneezed in a room where this book was kept, and that person's sneeze is very important, or something like that. Um, I found this. I, I found a copy that had a photocopy, like it was just like a picture of what the book's supposed to look like, the seller image, that on Abe has screwed me many times before. And the cheapest one of those I found was around 35 bucks. And then shipping on top of it or whatever. And I'm like, no, Abe, you have effed me in the back door way too many times for me to trust that that image is actually an image from the seller. Because the same image was on a couple other books that were posted on that page. So I'm like, F this, let me look on Amazon. So I go on Amazon, I'm typing around, looking, nothing older than like, like 2003's popping up. And um, I knew that... Um, this was an ace book. So I just typed in ace. I think that's the only thing I added to it. And this is the only thing that popped. No, two of these popped up. One for $700. And this one for $25. So. I looked at the pictures quickly. And said, that looks beautiful. If that's really the book. And if it is. I'm going to be drooling, yo. I, I can't even think right now. I'm so fracking excited. And so when I was in the post office, this guy kept coughing behind me. And I was just, like, ready to kill him. And um, so I had to, like, make my mind go somewhere else. So I very slowly opened the packaging that took forever. And this came from... Um, Veritas, and they wrote me a nice little note that I seem to have misplaced, but it was like, um, you know, like you, you learn stuff from reading books or, uh, thank you for your purchase. There is some truth found in all books. So my guess is that this person has seen the yellow sign. So dun, dun, dun. But, um, so, for those of you who are new, this mofo scored on two beautiful books. And yes, I paid more than I ever thought I would. That's not true. But I paid a lot for this book. But if they're really going for that much money, I'm actually making an investment in my future. Hawaii, here we come. <laughs> so, um, yeah, if you could find me another one of these that's a little beat up that I could actually open up and read, because I don't know if I ever want to touch this again. Oh, my God, it's so gorgeous. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in the world. Yeah, and I've seen Steve with no pants on. Oh, my God. All right, so anyway, folks, um... This is the best mail haul that ever happened in the world. And I don't know what to do now. I feel I feel strange. So I'm going to go.